Hey, hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Matic continues to be in this yellow wave count primarily. Okay, so we're tracking primarily here a bullish wave count. Um, that is only going to be the case as long as the price can hold above the 64, 65 cent mark. That's the critical support level. It's the golden ratio um, of this rally that occurred between um, yeah early October and the middle of November highs. So um, we are, as you are very well aware, we are watching for the price here to turn around somewhere in the orange support area. Yeah, the low could be in. We have a three wave move to the downside, but it could also be that we get one more low. Uh, the reason is we only have a three wave move to the upside so far and it's not yet impulsive and it's just not strong enough yet to really suggest that a lasting low has been established here. Okay. So we obviously had our head and shoulders pattern here that played out. Technically speaking, the head and shoulders target hasn't been reached. That actually would point us just below the orange box, which doesn't need to happen. It's just that, you know, I'm just pointing out what the target technically would be. And it's around, yeah, 60, 62 cents, okay? Um, support obviously um, technically ends here at 64, 65 cents. However, <clears throat> you need to be aware that we're dealing here likely with um, a diagonal structure. So with diagonals, we have to give the way for a little bit more space if needed. It's not like in an impulse where if the price breaks below the 50% FIP level, we lose you know, uh, all confidence in its impulsive potential. The thing is though that with a golden ratio, I mean, any way for that goes below the 61.8 retracement, even in a diagonal, I normally don't trust it anymore at all. So it would be a bit of a problem, uh, problematic, you could say, um, if the price breaks below that level, but it wouldn't be an invalidation of the yellow wave count. I hope everybody understands that difference yeah, between invalidation and um, just a level where probabilities are shifting. Um, obviously, in the bearish wave count, um, it would be here the B wave high or the B wave rally, A, B, C in wave B with then um, basically, yeah, basically you could say an impulse to the downside that could be unfolding, but it doesn't look very impulsive to the downside, which is why I am focused on the yellow wave count. Of course, the move down could be some kind of a diagonal, absolutely possible. Um, a wave C can be an ending diagonal, and then this support area would be relevant again down here. But for now, I'm primarily focusing the yellow wave count, which would, you know, which points towards further upside here. Um, and target wise, we talked about $1.15, $1.20 plus. Condition is that this support area is holding. And you know, I received a lot of questions, you know, do I think it goes back into the support area or not? Or not? See, nobody knows the future. It's not about that. TA is not about telling us it will do this, it will do that. It's about understanding the parameters for the yellow wave count. And I can tell you that there is a high likelihood that the price reacts in the yellow wave count to this support area. It gives us good reward and risk parameters. I mean, um, again, the lower in the box, the better for ready to $1.15, $1.20 plus makes it very simple to calculate um, reward and risk. Just imagine you entered here the top of the box. Let's imagine it really goes to $1.20. Let's imagine we have a stop below the support box gives you a reward to risk ratio above three. It's pretty decent. Yeah, anything above three is solid. Um, yeah, and um, obviously you can fine tune this a little bit with your entry, depending on where you enter. And then we just let it run, right? And the, at the moment, the support area is holding. And yeah, I just highlight that at the moment, it still seems reasonable to be prepared for another dip into support. It's already quite a deep way for but we haven't even broken the 50% FIP level, which is pretty good. And I already, I think, explained in a previous video that ideally it's even holding the 70 cent level, which is the 50% FIP level. And it would, you know, mean that we can have a little bit more trust in a fifth wave. Anything below that would be a very deep wave for, even for a diagonal, but acceptable. Anything below the golden ratio, yeah, will, will make it challenging. So that's really everything. I mean, at the moment, this could be anything. It's just a three wave move up so far can turn into anything literally. Um, so we would need a first five wave move up followed by a three wave pullback to indicate that wave five has started. The problem is because we're dealing here with an overall diagonal, 
we have less clarity because we don't need we don't even need a five wave move up. Um, corrective movements to the upside are okay because this wave five is likely going to be an ABC structure, so it's going to be very corrective. You know? So therefore, I would not really try to waste too much energy on trying to figure out okay has it bottomed or not because we we don't know. Okay, it's it's all about understanding where the price should turn around and the analysis helps us to understand that it so far did turn around now we need to see if it already manages to sustain next micro resistance is here at um 87 cents yeah that's my update about matic hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and Twitter. You can find the links for those in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.